Hello. I believe every day should be Suicide Prevention Day. What follows is a short video that I made the day after National Suicide Prevention Day, which of course, as I say, I think should be every day. Please watch and share if you think it might be helpful to you or anybody else. And at the end, I'd like to close with a few short words. See you soon. Hello everyone. So I'm a day late with this because yesterday was National Suicide Awareness Day. And of course, I believe that every day we should be more aware of suicide and the potential lives that it can take from us. So I wanted to say a few words. This is completely unplanned, totally off the cuff. I just want to talk to anybody who wants to hear this. Obviously, those who suffer depression, those who have or indeed do feel suicidal and anybody else is prepared to spread the word. And uh, like so many of us, I have suffered my highs and lows in life. For me, I've become grateful for my lows because they've given me the insight to enjoy my high points, but the low points are no fun at all. And at worst, they can be very scary. And one of the hardest things about feeling desperately, desperately low and or suicidal is that we feel very lost and lonely and isolated in this space with an utter conviction that no one could possibly understand how we feel. And it's also very possible to feel that you're so low that you're, you serve no purpose on this earth and you are no good for anybody else. So therefore, by deciding to take your own life, you believe that you are actually doing the world a favour, which for my mind eradicates any idea that, that the act of suicide is selfish. If you're in that state, it's the exact opposite. You honestly believe the world would be a better place without you. Well, let me reassure you on, on, on one thing straight away, which is that's completely wrong. Of course, the world wouldn't be a better place without you. That's just your mean brain playing a trick on you. And you are so much stronger than you believe. I'll repeat that, you are stronger than you believe. The other thing that's vitally important when we feel isolated and at our lowest points is the it's okay, it's more than okay. You have to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. But again, the paradox is this, when we're feeling really, really crap and at our wits end, we don't want to be a burden on anybody else. We think we'll be a burden by asking for help. Whereas actually any of your friends and me included would be more than happy to help talk to you in those lowest points. You're not being a burden to anybody. The other thing is when we're suffering, it's very tempting to want to suffer alone and we shut ourselves away. And of course, then we get lower and lower and we spiral out of control. And that's when things can go horribly wrong. So I think I've said all I can say, I want to give all the love in the world that I can through a, a camera lens. And please share and spread this if, if you think it's helpful to other people. But we are thinking of you all. And uh, I, for one, am here for you if you need me. I hope that's of some comfort on the day after National Suicide Awareness Day. Lots of love. So before we close, I'd like to finish on a couple of things I wish I'd said on that video. So if you're feeling suicidal and like ending it all, please remember this. The fine line between feeling suicidal and actually taking your own life is not a fine line at all. It's a vast, vast ocean. But it is an ocean of suffering, a lot of mental discomfort. So please remember this. It's about who you believe you are. And many of us believe we are the person that that little voice in our head tells us we are. So painfully inadequate, good for nothing, worthless and serving no useful purpose on this earth. Please let me remind you, and there are other videos on this channel on this, I'll put a link above. Please remember the little voice in your head is not who you are. It's only your baggage and a little voice. And you need to learn to separate from that and recognize your true identity. That way we can grow in self-love and self-worth and live a fulfilling and happy life. Thank you.